Hey guys, SpyCat, and today I'm going to be showing you a third or a fourth of my uh, TV movie collection. Movies that never really made it in the movie theater. They just kind of were straight to TV type of movies, but they were really good. They turned out to be really good. Um, and they're in my collection, so uh, they're pretty good. <laughs> so let's get to it, guys. To start it off, I'm going to start it off with my HBO movie collection. I have a crap load of HBO movies. Some of them are out of print. They're really good. You would really think that these movies were in the movie theater, but they never were because they were straight to uh, TV movies. <laughs> I keep saying straight to TV like it's straight to DVD. That's not even a fucking saying. But, um, you guys know what I'm fucking saying. Um, here we go. Hey guys, here's my HBO movie collection. These movies were part of my uh, TV movie series that I'm doing right now. I'm starting it off with my HBO movies. I have a crap load of them. As you can see, we're going to go through this pile. This is actually just snapback HBO movies. And then I have like probably the same size of regular DVDs. Oh shit, guys. Here we go. Alright guys, now these are all my HBO movies. This pile is all my snapback cases. And I love snapback cases. These were before the uh, plastic uh, DVDs. But they're real fragile. They always break if you snap it. They usually have some cool pictures inside. But this is uh, Miss Evers Boys. Don't know too much about this one. No, it might be a rare one. Earthly Possessions, Bridges, Bridge of Dragons, No Escape, Sci-Fi one, out of print. Wonder if this has something cool on it. No, just regular crap. Uh, Turbulence, good uh, plane going down, getting hijacked. Movie. This is a good one. Uh, Night Flyer, Stephen King's The Night Flyer. Good HBO movie. Let's see. In Pursuit of Honor. Seems like a good one. Uh, a Bright Shining Lie. White Man's Burden. Good one. HBO had some good movies. A Lesson Before Dying. Mackay Pfeiffer, In Prison, The Tuskegee Airmen, Tuskegee, some shit like that, good one with uh, Loris Fishborn, he did a couple uh, HBO movies, this is a good movie too, If These Walls Could Talk, this is a real uh, controversial movie, <laughs> um, this is a deep movie, man. Uh, Cher does a great part as the uh, doctor who's giving the abortions and then the crazy, radical Christian goes in and shoots her. Uh, Crazy-ass movie. Crazy fucking movie. <laughs> and the band played on. This is a good HBO movie about the uh, timeline of uh, HIV and AIDS. The whole HIV-AIDS epidemic. It gives a whole... Um, whole timeline from when it started the first cases of it till uh till now or whenever this movie was made truman uh gary sinise great movie out of print i didn't know this was a uh, hbo movie that's crazy took me a while to look at all my hbo titles you know them because it looks like that on the sides and I went through like 4,000 looking for all these HBO ones. <laughs> always outnumbered, always outgunned. This is a great movie. Uh, he's like a, pretty much like a homeless guy. Loses everything, loses his daughter. He's on the streets of LA. Pretty good movie. I think he is. He's like a homeless guy though. Old veteran, I think. Um, vet. Shot in the heart. Haven't seen this one. Gotta watch it. Looks kind of cool. Let's see. Volunteers. 
Wow, John Candy made an HBO movie. Tom Hanks, with Tom Hanks. Uh, Last of the Dogman. This is a good one. This is worth opening up. Checking out the pictures. This is an out of print one. Worth some money. Pretty good uh, movie there. Like that picture of the Indian on the horses. That's badass. Badass movie. Three Amigos. Steve Martin, Chevy Chase. Wow, this was an HBO movie. I'm tripping myself out seeing which ones are HBO movies that I never tripped that they are HBO movies. Had to get some more light, guys. Damn light went out. Bronx Tale. This is one of the best TV movies that there is. Robert De Niro. Great movie. Great Italian movie. My kind of movie. Because I'm Italian. Yep, guys. I'm one of those wops. <laughs> Great movie. First Time Felon. Uh, great movie. Omar Epps is in a... Uh, I think he's in a uh, jail. Then he's in this one camp. But like hardcore, like prison camp. Pretty good movie. Alright guys, this next pile of movies is all the uh, regular plastic ones. Not Snapback, but all HBO. Here we go. Enemy Within, Forrest Whitaker. I don't know, this was cool for an action movie. You don't see too many action ones, action HBOs. Uh, votes for Women. I have no freaking clue <laughs> what this movie is. Oh, it's a Hillary Swank movie, HBO movie, about, like, she's fighting for, like, women's rights or some shit. It was only, like, two bucks, but it's cool. It's an HBO movie, so that's kind of cool. I like it in the HBOs. Let's see. Next one, Photographer, another one I got for, like, a dollar. Maggie Gyllenhaal, HBO. This one's pretty cool. Actually, I don't know, but it's HBO, <laughs> and it was cheap, and I'm a collecting freak. Subway Stories, this is a good one. It's got my uh, favorite actress. I forget her name, though, <laughs> but the uh, Italian actress, that chick, she's in uh, Good Goodfellas, Guilty by Association, the movie I was just talking about in my courtroom dramas. Love her. Uh, Subway Stories, this is a cool one. Look at the actors that it's got in there. Some really good actors up in that bitch. Rosie Perez. Steve Zahn, one of his first movies. Old HBO movie. Witchcraft. I had no idea this was HBO, but it is. This is a cool movie. Read the way. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Looks like a horror movie. Um, this is uh, uh, about Kurt Cobain. His last days. Uh, HBO did this movie about his last days. I think this is out of print too. But it's a uh, pretty good movie. This is a good one. Um, Normal. This movie is great. This movie is about a guy who the kids get out of college and then he realizes that he wants to dress and change uh, the sex that he is to a woman at like 50, 60 years old. So kind of a nutty movie. This movie actually kind of makes fun. They couldn't do this movie uh, in 2016, put it that, put, put it like that. <laughs> um, but it's, um, it's weird because it's actually a comedy, but it's kind of a drama because it, it touches on, like, controversial, like, issues and shit, you know? And like I said, but this is, like, 15 years ago or 10 years ago or something like that. So it's, you know, they're, you know, they're kind of bending it, I think, in this movie and kind of making fun of a uh, transgender. Or uh, I, I don't know how all, the, all that stuff goes, but <laughs> anyway, that's a weird movie. But, a good movie. This is a really good movie. I like this movie, though. 
Kind of a funny, trippy movie. Uh, Life Support, Queen Latifah, Life Support. This movie is about um, the true story of this lady who is kind of a uh, motivational speaker at schools, um, telling, teaching girls about uh, HIV. This was an HBO movie. I thought it was a Lifetime movie, but it's actually an HBO movie. Um, for Richer, For Poor, this movie's out of print, worth some money, I think. Um, Jack Lemon, the guy from uh, Weekend at Bernie's. Weekend at Bernie's 2. This is a kind of well-forgotten-about movie. Age-Old Friends. Funny HBO movie. Point of Origin. This is a uh, thriller. I think it's about a serial killer. Kind of detective movie. With Ray Liotta and John Linguizamos. A Dog Year. This is a cool drama, comedy, comedy drama, um, pet movie about a dog. Kind of a sad movie. Good movie, though. Cherokee Kid. This movie used to be out of print. I don't think it is, but if it is, it's worth some money. I remember this was going for like 200 bucks on eBay. Um, great comedy movie with uh, Sinbad. He doesn't make too many movies, and this is one of the... The best ones, but a harder one to find. Great movie. Out of print. And now, guys, I'm going to give you guys a bonus. I'm throwing in my Showtime movies. I think I only have about five of them. And my favorite TV movie out of all the TV movies ever. <laughs> Alright, guys, here's a couple Showtime movies that I found in my collection. The Girl in the Cafe, this was like a dollar movie. <laughs> it's a Showtime movie, I have no idea what the hell this thing's about, but it's in my collection. <laughs> Soldier's Girl, um, this is a crazy ass movie out of the Showtime movies for sure. This movie right here is about the uh, true story about the uh, soldier who um, fell in love with a uh, tranny or transsexual or I, I don't know what, I don't know what that term is and I don't want to say too much on the spy cat channel I love everyone <laughs> um soldier's girl so basically it's a true story about this army dude who um falls for a uh tran tranny I guess tranny uh cross dresser I, I don't know it's hard trying to figure that out right now <laughs> and I'm stoned so I don't want to figure it out but he falls for this uh, person, man who is a woman or wants to be a woman and, and shit like that. And um, when his uh, friends and buddies back at the army base that he's living with find out, they kill him. Really fucked up, fucked up movie. Really fucked up that they do what happened to him and it's a true story. That everyone, they just, one night just killed him. It's really fucked up, man. Fucked up movie. <laughs> um, Devil's Arithmetic. This is a, this is a good one. This is about the, um, I think it's about the Jewish, uh, Jewish times, Nazi times, I think. Um, I forgot her name. Spider-Man check. Good movie, though. I like this movie. Gotta watch that. Out of the Ashes, another uh, movie about the uh, Nazi uh, Jewish times and crap like that. Where they're in the concentration camps and stuff and they're being all fucked up to them and shit. Fucked up movie. Good movie though. These are really good movies. I love the uh, Jewish uh, movies. They, they tell you how fucked up it used to be. History is fucked up. <laughs> uh, things Behind the Sun. This is a uh, one I got. It's kind of a harder one to find. Things Behind the Sun. <laughs> um, so here we go, guys. This is my number one TV movie of all time that was a TV movie. Ewok Adventure. This movie never was in a the theater. It was actually um, a, a TV movie. And then it was went in the movie stores and sold as a uh, VHS tape and everything like that. 
And I just、uh, kept this picture on my computer of a sick ass picture I'm going to show you guys. Hold on. All right, guys. But this was a、uh, great movie. <laughs> the best movie of all time. And this movie is an out of print one that goes on eBay for a shit ton of money for a DVD. Even used, like over a hundred bucks used. But, um, and this has got both、uh, versions of the movie on it. Really cool picture right there Battle for Endor, Caravan of Courage. Great movies. The first one is always the best. That's the one with the little girl, you know, everyone remembers that one. But this is a great movie. And、um, I'm going to do a bonus set of movies because I'm doing my lifetime Hallmark movies on the next video. And they should be done by themselves. So I'm going to throw in I have three USA movies and two NBC movies that were really good that I'm going to show you guys. And an encore and a VH1 movie. So,、uh, bonus, bonus, let me show you those great TV movies. You can watch too, sweeties. Alright, guys. Here's the bonus shiznit for you guys. Or fuck that. Here's the bonus shit for you guys. Susan Sarandon, one of my favorite actresses of all time. Joe Gould's Secret. This was a、uh, USA movie. I'll show you. You guys, I'm sure you guys remember that logo. USA Entertainment. That was a good channel. They had good movies on USA. But this is about the 1940s, the boozy 1940s. This is kind of a.、Uh, can't wait to watch this one. I like movies like this. I like the. You know, those are like more independent TV movies. Uh, the Muse, this was a, surprisingly a Albert Brooks USA、uh, movie, TV movie. <laughs> kind of cool. I collect all Albert Brooks movies. Pretty sure I have every one but like two.、Um, here's another weird USA. It just said USA on the side. I don't know if it was USA because it does say Universal. But it might have been a USA. Movie first and then Universal bought it out. I don't know, but it says USA. <laughs> so here's my third USA movie Snow White, Tale of Terror, Sam Neill, Sigourney Weaver. Good、um, horror movie version of Snow White.、Um, and now I have two NBC movies. This is the best NBC movie that started it all. I know my first name is Steven. I think about the、um, abduction of this kid or someone, something like that. He's in a family that's not his. Kidnapping case. Kidnapping case. I'll leave it at that shit. This is a cool archive of Warner Brothers collection, but this was a、uh, NBC movie to begin with. I looked it up. Did some homework for you guys. And this is also an NBC movie that I have. Exclusive Walmart.、Uh, Exclusive, but as you can see, it's the NBC logo. This is a good movie, good、uh, message movie. I like that one. And here's my one VHS、uh, movie Man in the Mirror, story about Michael Jackson, VHS original movie. This movie's out of print, I'm pretty sure. It looks like it came out in Canada, maybe before USA, or it's kind of weird it has that logo. But a、uh, great movie. And here's an、uh, encore movie, encore movie presentation. <laughs> Moby Dick. I mean, I'm getting any movie about Moby Dick, first of all. And it's kind of cool that this is a, a new encore Moby Dick thing. It's even got a slipcover there. And it's got that. It's got the bullshit crap fucking recycle screw you bullshit. That they shouldn't even be tripping about, <laughs> but they do. But that's it, guys. That was my whoops, the cat just knocked over the light. That was my HBO Showtime movies, and I threw in my favorite movie of all time Ewok Adventure. I threw in a couple USA movies Encore, VH1, 
and uh, NVC. And that's it for me. And that's it for you guys. Have a good one.